Hey everyone, welcome back. We're on the second lesson for this quick start course for On One Photo Raw 2022. We've imported some images into a specific subfolder instead of a folder, and we've also created a backup for that folder. So now let's learn how to find images and how to navigate through folders and subfolders to find specific photographs. When it comes to looking for specific photographs on your computer or external hard drive, the best area to do it is over here on the left-hand side of PhotoRAW. Let's start over here with these icons to the left. These icons jump to specific areas on your computer quickly so that you don't have to navigate through subfolders. If you're not sure where the icons take you, just hover over them and it will give you the description. If you're looking to navigate through specific folders on your computer or external drive, open up this Browse tab here and then show the Favorites pane. In the Favorites pane, we have our Favorites area, which we can add different folders into to jump into them quickly. We'll get into the Favorites pane later on in the course, but let's focus on the local drives and our cloud storage. With local drives, this is going to show any external hard drives or SD cards, and it's also going to show your computer's hard drive as well. So if I want to open up different folders and subfolders on drives, I can just use the arrows here, and I can open up any of the folders or subfolders within that drive. If you use cloud storage, such as Dropbox or Google Drive, you can access those folders directly from Photo Raw in this cloud storage area. Below cloud storage, we have our albums. With albums, you can add in different albums for specific genres or specific shoots or specific projects that you're working on or just add in albums for your favorite photographs so that you can navigate to those images really quickly whenever you open up on one photo raw. They're also great for if you are using Cloud Sync and you want to view those images on all of your devices. So let's just create an album here with this plus icon. You can also drag and drop folders onto the albums pane to create an album for it. And let's create a backyard album. Let's choose OK. And now we have this backyard album right here so that we can access it whenever we open up Photo Raw. In that backyard album, there aren't actually any images added to it. So we just have a blank zero items album there. So let's navigate back to that September subfolder that we were working on and had imported images into just by scrolling up here. Remember below our favorites, we have our local drives. We're in my computer's hard drive, and I'm going to go back to that regular backyard folder, and I'm going to go into that subfolder September to see all of those images that we were just importing. So with these backyard images, let's just select all of these images here. And I'm going to scroll down here to view my albums, and let's just select these images and we'll drag and drop them into this backyard album there. So now if I select this backyard album, I have all of those images there. So now if I've navigated away from that album or if I've closed Photo Raw and I've opened it up and I'm looking to navigate to that album quickly, I can head over here to my albums pane, select backyard, and there we go. There's all of those images right there. Another way that you can find photos quickly inside of Photo Raw is by searching for them. And there's a couple different ways that you can search for images. The first way is to head over here to the left side of your screen and open up this advanced search option and enable it. In here, we can use these different modifiers to find images. There's a ton of different modifiers you can use from five-star ratings to color ratings to different keywords, anything you can imagine to search for, you can use inside of this advanced search option. What I typically like to do is head down here to the advanced option 
I'll match all criteria, and then I can use this menu to choose specific criteria that I want to match. For example, if I want to find images with a high ISO, I can use the ISO modifier. I'll go into this menu here, and I want ISOs higher than 6400. Now all of the images shown here to my right are all of the images in this folder that have a ISO of 6400 or higher. If you're looking for a more basic search option, head up here to the top modifier bar and you can use this search option here to search for keywords or file names or metadata across your photographs. For example, if I want to find the 80th photograph in the series, I'll just type in 80. And there's backyard 80. If I typed in backyard, it would pull up all of the images because they all have that same file name. Let's say I modified some of the metadata for these images. I'll add in another keyword for these three photos. I'll name it flower. Now these three images have the flower keyword added into them and these others don't. So let's head up here to the search bar and let's just type in flower. Now I found these images quickly just by searching for that one keyword. So this search bar up here is a really fast way to find images based on their file name, metadata, or words that are associated with that image. Now let's talk about modifying the view options inside of PhotoRAW. Whenever we're viewing images and browsing for photographs, if we need to remove these panes from the left and the right, we can do so by selecting these icons. If we want to show or hide either of them at the same time, we can do that with the tab key on our keyboard. Inside of this middle area of Photo Raw, this is where we're going to be viewing the images. This view mode where the images are laid out in a grid where we can view all of the images in that subfolder, this is called the grid view mode. We can see the view modes that we're viewing down here with these icons here. If you want to view an image in detail, you can select this icon here. This will show the image alone and in detail with a larger thumbnail preview. If you want to go back to the grid view mode, Rather than selecting this icon down here, use the letter G on your keyboard. If you want to go back to the detail view mode where you're viewing only one image in detail, hit E on your keyboard. The next view mode we have is our film strip view mode. To access your film strip view mode, you can select this icon here, or you can simply hit F on your keyboard. The film strip view mode will show us a detail view mode of the images here while showing us a film strip view of all of the images in that folder at the bottom. Remember to go back to grid view mode, use G on your keyboard. The next view mode we have is this compare view mode. To use compare view mode, select two or more photos, and you can use this icon here, or you can simply hit C on your keyboard. What compare view mode does is it pulls up the film strip view mode at the bottom, but then it gives us the images that are selected in this area here. What I typically do is I make sure that lock, pan, and zoom is selected here. That way I can zoom into these images and I can pan around to view any specific areas that I need to be focusing on. Remember to go back to grid view, just hit G on your keyboard. 